um, I miss it, and I miss him, and I wish it never happened. We wanted to ask locals in New Zealand to reflect on the mosque attacks in Christchurch on March 15, 2019. Has this attack been forgotten? Could such a tragedy bring any positives? Did the attacks affect the non-Muslim community? 15 days, 15 videos, marking the two-year anniversary of the day that shook New Zealand. This is what they had to say. I actually felt quite concerned. In my life, I've made a lot of friends who are Muslim. And uh, there was a, a guy that I worked with over at, um, over at an English school in, Bra in Christchurch. And uh, he was a heck of a nice guy. Uh, his name was uh, Haroon Mahmoud. And during, the, uh, during the, um, the holidays, the school would stay open. So I'd be looking after the English side, he'd be looking after the business side. And we'd always be having lunch together and our kids would be brought in and his kids and my kids would be uh, doing crafts together from the other lady who worked there who was Christian. So we had this unusual, unusual, diverse family and, and it was like a family, it was amazing. And uh, he was, he, he'd become a friend and his kids had become friends of my kids. And unfortunately when the uh, attack happened uh, in the mosque, he happened to be there. And unfortunately Haroon, he lost his life. And so we were quite, uh, we were, it's a tragedy, and we were quite uh, very, very, very saddened by, by his loss. Actually, funny enough, we went to the U2 concert about a year later or whatever, and um, the, the, the U2 guys put, put his name up on the board, along with all the other ones that lo lost their lives. But um, yeah, just actually be heartbroken and it's sad, saddening to have him lost in, in that uh, tragic occurrence. And um, it was a terrorist attack, and um, I really wish uh, that that guy didn't stay in New Zealand, and, you know, because he was Australian, and so I think he should go back to Australia, and that's where he should be doing his time instead of doing it here. And, you know, it is a difficult situation because on one hand, the people who believe in his rubbish, white supremacists, you know, if he, died, if he was executed, would look at him as some kind of martyr or some kind of hero, but really, He's just a villain. He doesn't even deserve his name to be anywhere, and he certainly doesn't deserve to be supported by New Zealander. I would say nearly every single uh, New Zealander of conscience, with a good conscience, would say that that was wrong. No ways about it. It was wrong. It was a tragedy. I, I, I thought that what Jacinda did was uh, brilliant. I think it would have been a scarier New Zealand right now um, if it wasn't Jacinda. You know, I, I think that she has been a woman for the times. Uh, you know, I think she's, she's had the right approach to, uh, I loved what she said, uh, they are us, you know. Um, they are, you know, that's it. And I thought the way that she did that was, was fantastic. Uh, my family have been Christian for a, lot, for a while. Um, he, uh, lots of them have come and lived with us and we've become very good friends over the time. Um, that, that we they have, and I'll tell you one thing. Honestly, I've never ever had a problem with them. I think they're fantastic. They're good to live with. They are decent. They are nice, uh, and they're respectful. And um, I, I've got no issues whatsoever in having uh, Muslim people live with us in a homestay situation. You know, um, they, you know, and we've gone out tramping and camping together, and we've become good friends. And sometimes, and we've often discussed uh, our, our faiths because when you think about it, Christianity, Judaism, and uh, and Islam all come from the same tree. It all comes from the same root. Um, they do have a, a respect uh, for for uh, for our belief in. I just find them really good to li live with, you know. Um, I've never had an issue with them, you know, and that's good. The guys that live with us, brilliant. I uh, have them back any time we communicate with Facebook and it's been good, you know. Um, I think New Zealand, are, we're, we're a country where um, we only, if, we are, like the song says in Dave Dobbin's song, Welcome Home, you know, we are happy for everybody to come and live here as long as they are choose to become a part of the New Zealand community as well, not just exist in their own cultural bubble, you know? And I think you'll always have, you'll always be fine uh, with other with immigrant people come to New Zealand living here, um, as long as they realise that when they come to New Zealand, we say welcome, 
they need to say welcome too, you know? And so I guess one of the key things for me is that as long as they choose to be a part of the community and as long as they choose to mix with, uh, with New Zealand people and stuff like that uh, on an equal basis, then I think that's great. You know, and that's how it should be. And it's not just, I'm not talking from an Islam or a Muslim, I'm just talking about generally New Zealanders will welcome everybody as long as they, as, as long as it's reciprocal. I, I think that's how we are as a culture. And if we get this, all good. Oh heck yeah, without a doubt. You know, um, I think what, what, uh, what New Zealand did, uh, even when I was in Christchurch with the, at the big botanical gardens, the big, you know, everybody, a lot of people came in there and they put, things down to say, hey, you know, we're so sorry. And then we are sorry, because I agree with what Jacinda said. They are us. New Zealanders aren't just Māori and Pākehā people these days. You know, New Zealanders, well, well my wife, she's a Filipino. My family is, 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 is bicultural, you know, and, and most and a lot of families in New Zealand these days are multicultural. You know, and so, you know, I, I, I always appreciate that, that, that uh, fundamental relationship between Māori and Pākehā. Yes, yes, but New Zealand has become a lot bigger and it has become a lot more diverse. <laughs> we are us, you know, <laughs> um, together, you know, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I miss Haru. I miss him a lot. And, uh, and, and I miss the times that our kids would hang out with his kids and sometimes his wife would turn up. I miss that. And, uh, and um, I, w I wish what, what this amazing diverse family that we ended up having at that particular English school, business school, uh, with you know the, the Hindu, Hindu, Christian, Muslim, uh, no religion, all represented in that place and the way we used to lunch together and the things like that. Um, I miss it and I miss him and I wish it never happened. And, it w and my only words are, this guy should not be doing it in New Zealand. Taxpayers should not be paying for him. He should be he should be deported back to Australia, and I think Australia should be sorting out that problem. I think Australia should be paying for him too, because that's their person who did that. And I I think that um, anybody who uh, who encourages um, white supremacy, and hey, I'm white as well, you know. Anybody who just who who encourages white supremacy is a disgrace. And I think honestly, honestly. Um, that I don't think they have a place, to be honest. Uh, white supremacy has no place in New Zealand, it has no place in the world. And uh, it's sad that, um, that there are people who, 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 who follow such stupid and such destructive and such evil ideologies. That's all I can say. And I hope it stops. And I hope, I hope love prevails. You know, because honestly, it's a better way. Mm-hmm. <laughs>